afternoon, this is Miss H. I'm going to show you in this video how to access Sketchpad and the different tools in that program. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to log on to your Google account and then go over to your Google Apps bar here, scroll down to the bottom, and you should have seen the already seen the video on how to add Sketchpad to your drive. Now just click on Sketchpad. And it's going to open up the program in another browser window. Okay, this is the Sketchpad program. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down here to the right-hand side and hit the plus button, the new, new button. Click on that. These are different options. And up here you have the different uh, preset sizes. You have digital, paper, you have ads, and so forth. I'm going to go with 800 by 600. This is going to be and create new document. So this is my canvas. This is what, what I'll be working on. Uh, up here in the layers menu, you have background. So before you start, you want to click on background. And this gives you all the different options on uh, how you want your background to look. I'm going to make this simple and easy. I'm just going to go and uh, hit fill color and I'm just going to go with a gradient you have a few different options you have a solid color option radial and pattern you have this throughout the uh, toolbar in your options I'm just gonna go with linear and I'm gonna play with the angles I'm gonna go with that angle to start but um okay that's that's how you edit the background Okay, and the next, that's in fill too, by the way. Uh, this one, you add fill color to the background. This tool is the text tool. When you click on it, you have a few different options. At the top here, you have your, your font menu. You click on that, you have all different types of fonts to choose from in this program. I'm going to do pick something quickly and show you how to use it. Uh, so many. Uh, let's go with. I guess I'm just gonna stick with Chewy. On uh, in this program, you can choose your fill color. I think I'm gonna go with white, and I'm gonna have a blue outline. Down here, you have your line width for your your uh, text. I'm just gonna set that to uh, almost two points and you could just click on here and enter what you're looking for so I'm just gonna go with two point and then you have all these different options I'm gonna start typing on here I'm just gonna type hello so this is what my text looks like you can highlight it uh, make it bold italicize it add an underline whatever you want to it um, you have Options over here, letter spacing, and undo button over here if you do something you not you don't want to keep. There's all kinds of different options here. And uh, when you're done with it, you can go up to layers and select it. You can change the height. Um, you could pick it up, drag it around, do whatever you need to do. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it down here in the corner for right now. And I'll come back to it. Okay, the next option you have, you have clip art. Now, if you click on clip art, you're going to have uh, all kinds of choices in here. We're not probably, I'm not going to have you do a lot of work that involves clip art. I'm going to focus mainly on wanting you to create your own artwork. But in some assignments, I might let you do use clip art. But uh, just to show you a quick preview, preview on how to use clip art, I'm just going to select something from clip art and show you. You can drag it around. You can scale it. Um, you can add uh, ele uh, you call it effect to it. Um, you can change the opacity of it so you can make it light, dark. You can do whatever you like with uh, 
your clip art. Okay. And too, when you create clip art, it's going to create another layer. You're going to want to keep track of your layers. It'll be come in handy later on. Okay, next you have your, your shape tool. And up here you have, in this menu, you have all your different shape options. Uh, we will be using this in the next assignment, so please familiar yourself with the shape tool. Um, I'm going to do this real quick. I'm just going to pick one of the shapes. Uh, pick a fill color. I'm going to do a radial fill color. Something different from what we have. It's going to show you an example right here in the little window next to it. Before you start drawing, I think I'm going to go with... Uh, it's hard. There's so many different choices. Uh, let's stick with this one. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to change the outline color to white, and then I'm just going to adjust the, the line width. Um, you can also adjust the different sides of your, your shape, too, when you're in this program. Do, do, do. Let's stick with this. Let's go with a triangle. Um, you could do a cutout image if you like. And then you just draw your... You could either draw your image by clicking and dragging, or you can hit shift and it'll just make your image whatever size you want without going all over the place. So I'm just going to use that. I'm going to put it up above hello. And I can adjust it. And just like the clip art, I can change the different elements of it. Uh, if I want to add a different effects, um, I recommend playing with that. Saturation, whatever. Uh, just whatever you, you want to do, uh, play with it. Okay, the next, next tool is the paintbrush tool or the drawing tool. In this section, you have all these different types of brushes. I can't get to, into all of them right now, but um, I want you to spend some time and play with the different types of uh, brushes you have available. I think I'm going to just stick with a stamp tool, stamp brush right now. And this brush is kind of like the, um, the uh, clip art. You have different, you have a whole library of different stamp brushes to pick from. I'm just going to grab something real quick. I'm going to grab like the sketchy paintbrush one. You could change the uh, outline right here to any different color you want. I think I'm just going to go with like a purple. Uh, you have scale, so you do size. You have the width. Each one of these brushes, you could change the, the line width and different. If you go down here, different effects of the brush too. So this is just for the stamp brush. This, this is like a unique type of brush, but I'm going to show you. So this is kind of how it turned out. Kind of kind of nice. Kind of different. Uh, and let's try a different brush. So you got my favorite brush is the paintbrush tool. This one you can adjust the width the blur size so if you're working on like uh coloring in something you can adjust the blur and help blend the colors a little more when you're creating something uh, let's see we got pencil tool with so these are all going to be your tools for the these next upcoming assignments uh please spend time with the brushes and play with them I really look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. And you can adjust it. I don't know if you... You can adjust it before you use your lines. But you have mirror brush right here. I wonder if you can adjust it with the... Yep. After you draw, you can adjust your uh, strokes too and layers to create different effects. And uh, right here is your uh, crop tool. So if you want to crop the size of your piece, you can use that as well. Just hit enter. Uh, if you want to go back and fix something, you can go back. 
and undo. You got your select tool, your layer, your zoom, your undo. And that was a quick tutorial on how to use Sketchpad. Please look for the video that shows you how to upload assignments to the video. Hope you enjoyed.